In our last Town Hall 11 episode, we provided a detailed laboratory upgrade guide to provide you some clear guidance on what to upgrade. That way you can use your favorite armies faster. What's going on, my friends? My name is Joe. Welcome back to the show. And today would be episode nine of the Town Hall 11 free to play series, day 70. And we got some amazing news for you today, boys. Our heroes are going to be maxed and we're going to do the final one together. Grand Warden to level 27.9 million elixirs just like this and we're gonna book her back and there it is heroes are max for town hall 11 just over two months of playing free to play not bad but today we're gonna start diving into some of the easiest town hall 11 attack strategies for clan war in 2023 so things at town hall 11 haven't changed that drastically over the last couple of years i mean you can pull a video from youtube and probably manipulate the army and still get a successful three star but the difference that we're going to show you today is that players are starting to use different siege machines in this case we have an electro dragon army i know bear with me here but we have the flame flinger involved and this attacker is going to use the flame flinger on the far left side of this very interesting base design to clear out various defenses in a certain zone now he drops it without dropping a tank which he has to kind of resolve with the use of balloons to clear that archer tower because he's trying to preserve the life of this flame flinger now there's only really one major danger here and that is this mortar and if he can clear that mortar then the rest of these defenses are pretty much in trouble because the flame flinger can touch literally all of these in this section and basically clear this side of the base out for his electro dragons so the flame flinger is going to work over there on a wizard tower and on the opposite side he's going to just basically spam it up boys he's going to drop double rage electro dragons balloons warden on air mode with the ability which is going to send the balloons in to clear the air defense as well as the multi-target inferno tower on the far right side corner you're going to see barbarian king and archer queen walking their way down chipping away at archer towers and cannons to assist the electro dragons he's going to use the free spell on this air sweeper that way it's not pushing away and resetting the e-drags and the e-drags are going to continue to power through this village very easily i mean the flame flinger is still going it's targeting a multi-target inferno tower inside the clan castle was an electro dragon and balloon which is kind of old school but it's still being used today and the eerie drags are going to assist the king and queen as they clear out the expo getting some damage on these in <laughs> these hidden teslas as well as the eagle art artillery we're gonna go ahead and speed it up because he does not even need his king or his queen's abilities the drags are gonna get the job done inside of that flame flinger was rocket balloons I mean just a little overkill here but regardless a very simple attack strategy for a lot of you guys out there for army number two we have the minor hog rider hybrid attack which has become a very reliable army throughout many years the only thing is is that it does revolve around the queen charge and the clearance of clan castle troops now now this attacker does bring a stone slammer which is very different from what we normally see with the siege barracks or the flame flinger now we're going to focus mainly on the queen charge from the very beginning he's starting out with the queen dropping the balloon looking for seeking air mines followed by the healers I actually owe you guys a more up-to-date queen charge guide, but we'll get to that part later on. Rage spell down to get this queen up into the archer tower. She's going to take on various buildings, super wall breaker to open up entry points, but mainly he's trying to work her into that eagle artillery and clan castle. Wizards to the right to try to funnel. Obviously, it did not work out very well because there's an archer tower and a cannon sitting here. Queen's going to clear that air defense and continue to work towards the left. Now, he will more than likely use another super wall breaker to open up this compartment and work her up into the bomb tower taking on the gold mine and the balloon drop to navigate this queen up into the, the base like he wants so she's going to take out the cannon use a rage going to take on the elixir storage and then she's going to step up into another archer tower it kind of seems like he, she's doing the complete opposite of what he wants her to do which tends to be the case with queen charges, but he does get in there and he pulls the clan castle troops out using the freeze spell and poison to clear the electro dragons. Kind of a safe method for those of you that are kind of scared of the e drag. It works. Try it for yourself if you don't know how to do it in another rage. So now that that has been dealt with, now he can start working his way into the second portion of the attack. Barbarian King on the right side, and he's going to take on some buildings, dropping the stone slammer to open up the compartment 
for that king. Wow, <laughs> it's pretty clever stuff. So the Stone Slammer's taking damage. He's gonna open up more walls for the king using the ability, and he's locked on with the single target. So he's gonna drop the miners and the hog riders to flank, although the miners are gonna kind of stray a little bit because he did not clear these buildings on the outside of the base. That was, you know, that tends to happen. But either way, he powers through. Hog riders are taking on the core of the base. The queen has worked her way to the backside, taking on a single target that was frozen. He's gonna use his heal spell to keep the hogs alive with the warden's ability and then they're going to work their way into the tornado trap and find the eagle artillery perfect king is down but he has plenty of hog riders that emerge from both the stone slammer and his own army they're going to work up into the hidden teslas and the single target sneaking in some balloons from the backside to assist the miners up there we're going to go ahead and speed this one up because this attack is very very clean just a little bit of a mishap with the miners on the right but regardless plenty of hogs to get the job done because of how much he was able to take out with the queen charge. But if you don't know how to do that queen charge, don't try this just yet until you get some practice. For army number three, we have the IC5, which is five ice golems, bowlers, witches, and bats. It's a fan favorite. It's one of my personal favorite armies, and I have made a dedicated tutorial for this attack strategy. It'll be linked down in the description below for you. Now, this base is perfect. Single target inferno towers versus witches. Yes, you always want to go with some witches in this type of situation. However, However, Alex does make a few mistakes in this particular attack that are a little concerning when it comes to the funneling portion. And he's going to use his P.E.K.K.A. and Wizards down on the bottom. This is perfect, taking his time. But ideally, he should have dropped his Barbarian King on the opposite side to start clearing these buildings out. That way, his Queen and Warden don't go around the outside. He's got the Ice Golems down, Queen and the King, Warden, Witches, Bowlers, and the Log Launcher. But watch the King, Queen, and Warden just walk on him. This is just bad because he does not have have that warden's protection as the troops go inside the base so as the troops travel he's going to drop that rage spell for his ice golems and bowlers and they're going to clear out the archer queen take on the eagle artillery find the tornado trap really not a big deal but there is defensive troops on the balloon as well as the electro dragon the warden and the queen and the king are on the outside so that could be bad you know what i mean because the queen could have cleared that electro dragon no problem regardless I digress. The core of this uh, base has been cleared out and the troops on the outside are gonna continue to push. And here's the issue, that E-drag needs to go down because it will roast your bats if it does come into contact with them. So he has to be a little patient here with them as the final ice golem pops, the electro dragon will eventually navigate to the outside of the base. So let's go ahead and speed that part up. There, there we go. Now he's gonna drop his bats to travel across the base up into the expo, hidden Tesla, air defense. There's really no splash damage to worry about here none of the uh, wizard towers and none of the multi-target inferno towers he's good to go so he just freezes the defenses as the bats travel he's going to freeze that final expo which can cause you a lot of issues if you don't slow it down and they're going to take it out and then move over into the final air defense and archer tower so again even though he did make mistakes he is able to prevail and three star this base this is definitely one of those armies that can get you through town hall 11 very enjoyably but yeah be sure to check out that tutorial link below and for our final army this is not an easy attack strategy by any sense of the word we got balloons we got a blizzard and a very weird looking base i mean look at the level one walls what's going on there <laughs> i don't really understand because he's got a maxed out eagle and maxed out inferno towers who knows but regardless this attacker is going to start out with the blizzard first and the idea with the blizzard is to clear out very important defenses like expos air defenses archer queens possibly some clan castle troops and maybe even taking down the town hall at higher levels so he's got that blimp traveling directly into an air sweeper he's going to drop the air sweeper as well as the rage invisibility spell now you got to make sure you understand the timing of your invisibility spells as well as where to place them you'll notice that alfred is maneuvering them around to make sure that he doesn't hide certain things like the queen or the town hall or the electro dragon in this case and the super wizards are going to leave a gigantic hole in the base taking out various defenses nice 14 percent of the base is cleared 
using sneaky goblins and super wall breakers to clear resource buildings and open up a hole to send the king and the queen inside the base. We're going to speed it up because the king and the queen are going to go after the air defense and multiple wizard towers, which is perfect for the balloons. Nicely done. And then he's going to sneak some balloons in that are uh, on an archer tower that is distracted on an archer queen. Now, this queen's going to cut through the wall. He's going to drop a baby dragon. And the target here would be the eagle artillery. Same base that we saw earlier in a previous attack. I don't know why they use the same base, but sure. Queen's going to take down the eagle artillery, and then he's going to work his way into the Lalo portion, sending in the hound, and then balloons to target the wizard tower and the mortar, some balloons to target the cannon, archer tower, and a freeze spell for that multi-target. Haze spell on top of the defenses to launch balloons into the final air defense. I mean, yeah, that, it looked really fast, huh? Because it was a really bad base design, actually actually kind of perfect for the Lalo in a sense. But like you saw earlier, you could clear this same base with a different army. But if you want to try that one out, there's the army right there.